you were looking for this breakout offensive performance. We'll talk with Dan Heath through just about that as uh, the bats really broke out tonight in a 14 to nothing victory. And Dan, boy, let's start offensively tonight. You know, last night in the post game, you talked about maybe felt like possibly some guys were pressing a little bit, but you felt like you were just right there on the brink of a breakout game. You get it tonight, and it was just that kind of that pass the baton mentality. What do you see from the lineup one through nine tonight in a 14 run, 14 hit effort? Yeah, I thought last night was a good reset for us, and we were able to talk after the game and then again before about uh, what makes us good. And it's it's not one guy. It's not a you know what makes us good is not having a star or a couple stars on the team. It's just a bunch of guys who are really good ball players and are going to play for each other and just try to win at bats, have quality at bats, and pass the baton and. Um, you know, I think another one that's really important for this team and for our program in general is just, you know, enjoying playing for each other and enjoying playing the game and not having the pressure of results. And I, I thought that's what we saw today. And, and the results, it was awesome to get results that quickly. But I think, you know, when, when guys buy into that and the burden gets taken off their back and they're able to play with a lot more freedom and, and the results are a lot better. You know, we talked last week how, how Jaron really battled. We were impressed with the way that he just didn't let the, the control issues hurt him. And then today he comes out and has control, pitches to contact, lets the defense work. What do you think about Jaron today? Yeah, Jaron looked outstanding. I thought two weeks ago against Corpus he was really good. Um, like you said, last week he you know, didn't have great command, but he really battled and, and still kept us in the ball game and got all the way to the sixth inning and, and we were able to win the game. But um, when he's on and he's got... You know, he's got, we've talked about it before, like his breaking balls, not just one, but the slider and the curveball. He can also throw a cutter. Um, they're all elite pitches. And uh, when he's commanding his fastball, then he's really tough. And that's what we saw tonight. Well, a great win tonight, Dan. We appreciate it. We'll look forward to tomorrow. Thank you. It's Patriots head coach Dan Hefner. 14 nothing winners tonight. Grant Jay, our hero of the game. Boy, you could uh, pick a slew of guys tonight, but who better than Grant Jay? Two home run night for Grant, and uh, Grant, we're trying to rack our brain to remember the last time a guy hit two home runs in an inning, and couldn't think of anybody, but you accomplished <laughs> the feat tonight. Hey, outstanding work uh, by you, and take us through uh, the at-bat in the third. Uh, a 3-2 count, uh, you've got two on, the home run, the blast to center field, and boy, how good it feel come off your bat. Yeah, it felt, it felt awesome. Um, nothing super special with the at-bat, you know, I was just I was just going going up there and I was ready for my my pitch. Um, you know, I was just battling. That was the whole that was the whole mentality. You know, three two, he's gonna give me a pitch to hit, and uh, I got my pitch. Yeah, baseball is such a funny game because it just one tiny little thing here or there, and everything changes. And hey, yeah, you got the two home runs today. Did it feel like a, a weight was lifted off your shoulders a little bit when you're coming around the bases the first time? Yeah, it definitely did. Uh, you know, the, these past few weeks haven't necessarily been easy or, or great, but. Uh, and we talk all the time about trying to stay consistent, and uh, that was one of the biggest lessons I learned throughout this whole this whole process. Uh, whether I'm going good or going bad, I need to be consistent no matter what. Uh, but yeah, <laughs> some weight was definitely some, <laughs> definitely lifted off. Now, take us into the mindset of what Dan Heifer talked to the team about last night. He just shared with us the the conversation of, of having the freedom of just playing for one another and and not putting the pressure on yourself that you feel like you've got to do it all. But one through nine in the lineup, and that dug out that 37 on one mentality. But just kind of everybody having that freedom to, to be able to to play for one another. Yeah, it's honestly super special, and I don't, I don't think you'll get it anywhere else. Everyone on this team, everyone in the dugout, we're all rooting for one another, uh, and it really helps you out, especially in any big situation, knowing that anybody in our lineup can can or will do it. Um, and so, you know, like obviously everyone would like to, but a lot of a lot of weight is lifted off knowing that every one of us ha has each other's backs, and so it's it's super special. We don't want to forget the guy on the mound, Jaron DeBerry, who goes six shutout innings. What did you feel like was working really well for him today? Everything, everything. Yeah, yeah he added a cutter this year, and it's been it's been super special. It's a really good out pitch for him, uh, and his curveball is also lights out like he usually is. Uh, had good command of his fastball, and you know he's a competitor, and uh, we we always love watching him pitch. Well, it's not only a great one-two punch. You got a third guy tomorrow, Luke Pettit, going. Look forward to him getting the baseball tomorrow and a chance to sweep. Yeah, absolutely. Let's do it. All right, thanks, Grant. Grant. Thanks so much. Thank you, guys. Grant Jay, our player of the game, two home runs tonight. Big part of the Patriot offense as they win 14 to nothing over New Mexico State to take the series and hope to go for a sweep tomorrow. One final break. We come back. We'll wrap things up here in Dallas.